Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to prove this hyperbolic identity. So, proof. So we have to pick a side to start with and then show it's equal to the other side. So let's start with the right hand side because it looks more complicated. So I'll go ahead and rewrite the right hand side. So we have cinch of x cosinch y plus cosinch x times the cinch of y. And now what we'll do is we'll use the definition of the hyperbolic sine and the hyperbolic cosine. So the hyperbolic sine of x is half the difference between e to the x and e to the negative x. So it has a minus sign. So it's e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. This is being multiplied by the hyperbolic cosine of y. This will be the average of e to the y and e to the negative y. So it has a plus sign. So cinch has a minus, cosinch has a plus. So it's e to the y plus e to the negative y, all over 2, plus. Then cosinch has the plus, except this time it's e to the x plus e to the negative x, all over 2, times, and then cinch has the minus, except this time it's cinch of y. So it's e to the y minus e to the negative y, all over 2. Now, we don't know where we're going, right? So let's backtrack for a minute. So we wrote down the right-hand side. We used the uh, definitions of cinch and cosinch, and this needs to be equal to something. But what? It needs to be equal to the right hand, the left-hand side up here. So what is this? If we rewrite this, this is e to the x plus y minus e to the negative x plus y all over 2. So this is our goal. Right? This is the goal in this problem. Right? We're hoping that we can work out what we've written down and make it equal to this. If we do, we've completed the proof. So the natural thing to do now is actually just multiply. So I'm going to put this in parentheses and this in parentheses. Likewise, this is in parentheses and this is in parentheses. And we're just going to distribute. So let's see. So e to the x times e to the y well, what you do when you multiply those is you add the exponents. So you get e to the x plus y. So we have e to the x plus y. Then we take this one and multiply it by this one. That's going to be plus e to the x minus y. And now we take this term and distribute. When we multiply these, we get minus e to the negative x plus y. And then last but not least, we do the last terms. So that again would be minus e to the minus x minus y. Right? We're adding minus x plus minus y. That gives us minus x minus y. And all of this is being divided by the number 4. right? Because 2 times 2 is 4. Then we have our plus sign. And we're going to do the same thing with the second piece. So e to the x times e to the y. Again, we add the exponents. So e to the x plus y, then distribute. So here it's going to be a minus, so minus e to the x minus y. Now we take this term and distribute. So again, adding exponents, this time it's a plus, so it's e to the negative x plus y. And last but not least, we do the last terms. So it's minus e to the minus x minus y. And it's all being divided by 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. Good stuff. At this point, we should hopefully get some type of cancellation. So this is equal to, let's see what happens here. Um, so everything here is over 4. So we can actually just combine like terms in the numerator right away. So let's see. We have e to the x plus y and e to the x plus y. That gives us 2 times e to the x plus y. Right, we have two of them. Likewise, let's see, does anything cancel here? Well, I noticed something here. We have negative e to the negative x minus y and negative e to the negative x minus y. That's going to give us negative two of those, e to the negative x minus y. Now we have this term here. 
this e to the x minus y, and look, it cancels with this one. And this one here cancels with this one. <laughs> it works out nicely, so we're just left with this. That's all over 4. At this point, we can pull out a 2. So we get 2 parentheses e to the x plus y minus, and then we can factor out a negative here from the exponent and write this as e to the negative x plus y. I did that to make it match what we want, right? Our goal, our goal. Remember our goal is up here. So now it's going to start to look like that because here we have a 4 and 2 goes into 4 two times. So we end up with e to the x plus y minus e to the negative x plus y and it's all being divided by 2. This is precisely the definition of the hyperbolic sine function. This is cinch of x plus y. So we started with the right hand side and through a series of basic algebraic manipulations we showed it's equal to the right hand, to the left hand side. So we have completed the proof. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful.